Hello everybody, welcome back, Belinda here. Today I am testing out Derivan acrylic paints and the pouring medium. Now according to my research on this pouring medium, it is very good and very strong. So um, I have actually in the past tried a few colours of this is the professional and it is really good the pigments are very good so I'm going to be doing a usual let's see how that goes and see what outcome we get now this pouring medium according to my research you mix one part paint to ten parts of the pouring medium so I have actually gone ahead and I have used quite a bit from another bottle and um, I must tell you that it is actually very thick so you can use it for a number of different purposes as well but we'll get into that in another video as well um, apparently the using it just as a varnish as well is exceptional so the colors I'm going to be using today we're going in with magenta purple and I'm using the titanium white and we're going to make lilac so I want one color to be darker the one lilac to be darker and I want another to be lighter so um, this was requested by a little girl in Scotland who watches my videos with her nana and her name is Eve so Eve these colors you've requested I have so she also requested ice blue uh, which is one of the colors and therefore I have um, used that of course I don't have ice blue in the derivin I have mixed up some white already and I have mixed it to the consistency that I need for this pour she's also asked for silver so I have some metallic silver here which I don't have in the derivin either in the range you can see it is actually it's actually still pretty thick really the white is obviously thinner because I'm going to be using the white as the base coat and then of course the ice blue now in I have purple here which is really good and I know that this Derivan purple is really highly pigmented so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to mix this in front of the camera so they say 1 to 10 although I did find um, 1 to 10 was a bit, uh, a bit too far for what I need and it mixes beautifully you see that all creamy and smooth so I'm not using any flow troll today and of course no silicone at all so that's probably just a 1 to 1 I'm going in with a whole heap more now and let's see so I'm mixing up the purple first because I want to get to my desired color which is lilac but I want a darker lilac and a lighter lilac right so that's probably the consistency I'm looking for I might have to need, add some more because I'm going to be adding in white and purple uh, white and pink right so I'm going to mix before I do that I suppose I will mix some white and you can see the consistency of this paint is really really thick it's really nice because when you've got thick paint like this the viscosity is so good you don't need much 
Okay, so I'm going in with pouring medium. So I would like to actually see how this goes with the glow pot as well. I suppose you wouldn't really need to use both. I'm not sure. At this stage, I'm not sure because this is the first time I'm using this pouring medium. Now guys, there is a 20% discount. The discount code I will link in the description box. So just click the little arrow or click on the video title and you will see the um, the discount code there. The, doc, the, the description will open up. Okay. So the description... Oh, sorry, the 20% the, um, off is available until the end of July, so use it quickly before it expires. So this might be a little bit of a longer video guys, but um, you do really need a little bit of a longer one just to see this. Right, so now I'm going to go in with a bit of this purple. Because remember I wanted two different shades. Okay, let's see what that is like. So that already is looking to me like lilac. But I want to add just a teeny bit of the magenta. So that would be the one uh, lighter shade. That's great. Let's put a teeny bit of magenta in there. So I just open these caps up because um, I just find for me it's easier. And I suppose um, you've all got your own way. It does actually have a little... Uh, you've got to pull it back. Little cap. Like that. So it's not too um, it's not too difficult to do, I suppose, just because I've got my gloves on. But I do prefer just to get a whole heap of it out. Whoops. Getting a little bit excited here. <laughs> paint splashing everywhere. You just mix that pink or magenta in really, really well. And they've got such a good colour palette. So you can go onto their website. Obviously, I'll include that as well. And check out the color palette. They've got, you know, that does come in um, bigger jars and bigger quantities as well, which is really good. Right, so that lavender is beautiful. And I think the consistency at the moment is very good. Then, so what I'm going to do is... Um, I'm going, to, I'm going to mix up my base coat, which is going to be the purple, but I'm going to put it in white just to make it a little bit lighter because it is a little bit dark for what I want. And I'll see you in a bit. Okay, guys. Um, <clears throat> I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay down... I think I'll do the ice blue first. <laughs> Big decision. We'll see how these colours turn out. So Eve can also do her practice. She um, apparently she does art with her nana, which is pretty awesome. Okay, and then I'm going to go in with the lighter lilac. You can see the difference. So that is the reason why I made a lighter and a darker. Because we really want, we want the lighter to actually shine through as well. And then I'm going in with the silver. This is a metallic silver. 
hopefully the blue and all of these colors the the um the paint and the pouring medium is so creamy it's absolutely beautiful it's a lovely lovely texture give that a torch I'm definitely going to be doing more pours, obviously, with this paint. I am looking at changing my brand. That was a super quick one. I love, love, love this. I really would like some more to show up over here. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to blow a bit into the center because I want the blue to separate the, the colors. And then I'll give it a bit of a torch. Okay, that is looking really pretty. Let's torch that and see what else we can get. So bearing in mind that I did not use Floetrol, I see some beautiful cells popping up. And don't forget to scrape your sides so you don't have the paint pulling off the sides. I must say, with this uh, pouring medium, the paint is already starting to dry while it's starting to thicken. And bearing in mind that um, we are in winter, so that's uh, pretty quick. I'm hoping that you're going to be able to see the bling bling in it as well. It really is pretty. Okay guys, I'm going to bring you in for a close up. Alright guys, so this is it. I am really hoping that you'll be able to see the silver running through here and um, look at this this pouring medium has actually created similar to what you would get with the uh, flow troll I think with the flow troll obviously you get more lacing etc etc um, but even here look at that there's, there's definitely cells and lacing and the, the consistency and the texture is just beautiful. So I would highly recommend it. The paints and the pouring medium. Because it, even though it, it's pretty sticky, if you touch it with your finger, it's um, pretty sticky. You would need to wear gloves. Um, yeah, I think it actually has an amazing result beautiful end result and I'm going to show you this when it's dry as well because I want to see how shiny it's going to be well guys thank you so much again for watching I hope you enjoyed this one and I'll see you in the next one thanks guys bye